everybody knows about the massive and brilliant music festival at Glastonbury. But nobody really knows about Glastonbury. Historical and veritable Glastonbury. All these phenomenal myths and legends and the archaeology of the local area and, and, and how much of an influence this, this whole story has had uh, on European Christianity and, and the world as we know it today. And it all started here at Glastonbury Abbey. Glastonbury has a very powerful personality, I think I'd say personality. One of the last of the monks, Austin Ringwood, is said to have uttered a prophecy that Glastonbury would rise again. And then he said, peace and plenty will for a long time abound. And that was what interested me. The idea that it was a living place, uh, not just a heap of ruins. Hi there, it's Ian Brody here. Somerset has so much offering. It has landscape, it has history, it has mythology. It's the background from Tolkien's world of Middle Earth. I love this part of the country so much that I've now decided to create a book as a guidebook to Somerset. Ian Brody is an amazing photographer and author, and we are honored to be teaming with him on his next book, A Journey Through Somerset. I think Ian's photography can be defined by his stunning use of layered images, his ability to capture vibrant colors, and the light is just magical. Most notably, Ian authored the best-selling Lord of the Rings location guidebooks, Cameras in Narnia, and is currently finishing up the Hobbit location guidebook for HarperCollins and Warner Brothers. These movie and travel books have been phenomenal to create, but recently I've actually been totally captured by another geographical location. The county of Somerset is a magic landscape filled with ancient history, myths, and legends, some of which will be chronicled in the up-and-coming film Glastonbury, Isle of Light. Within Glastonbury are contained the traditions of King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table, along with the legends that Joseph of Arimathea brought the Holy Grail to this place during the first century. During the 2012 opening Olympic ceremony, the Glastonbury Torah was positioned in the highest place of honor. What is it that's so compelling and powerful about Glastonbury? The landscape and place of Somerset is just mesmerizing, which inspired Tolkien for some of the landscapes of Middle Earth. Glastonbury and Somerset has been the inspiration for many fantasy writers, and this book will show you why it is so significant. Few realize that Somerset, and particularly Glastonbury, have recently been hit hard by the economic downturn in Britain. The abbey ruins are in need of repair, and even its iconic tree, the Glastonbury Holy Thorn, has been vandalized many times over this past year. Sadly, it has yet to be successfully replanted and take root once more. Yet together with your help and through this book, we can build awareness for both Glastonbury and Somerset. This desperately needed economic push can really help boost the economy, similar to how Ian's books have boosted the economy in New Zealand. I did do a film that did quite a lot to put New Zealand on the map of the world called Lord of the Rings. And it was obvious right from the get-go that nobody quite realized the importance to the New Zealand economy for the next 10, 15 years, or what was happening there. And I certainly hope that you will you'll benefit here. And I'd like you to join with me on my special journey through this county. In conjunction with Galatia Films and Visit Somerset, I'm now embarking on a new journey. A journey through Somerset. A journey through the landscape, the history, and the mythology of this county. Now we need your support for this book to be produced. And I urge you to join with me on this amazing journey.